Why did you go into consulting even though you studied law? Oh, you studied law. Why didn't you become a lawyer then? These are the questions I get asked the most after people realize I studied law before going into management consulting. So I thought I could use this video to explain why I chose to go into consulting and why you might maybe consider doing the same. I honestly think that consulting is one of the best career options for young people who are ambitious but yet don't really know what they want to go into. And if that sounds like you, then I think you're in the right place. I did a law degree in Durham University and I graduated last July. I'll be starting my management consulting job in April or maybe a few months down the line, depending on my visa situation. I moved to London in October and I've lived there for a few months now. So first of all, I think it's useful to talk about what is management consulting. So on paper, management consulting firm help businesses improve their performances. Now, that is a very broad and very general idea of what management consulting is, so I'll dive a bit deeper into it. Management consulting firm does that by identifying a problem, gathering and analysing different information, and then finally delivering a final deliverables, which gives their clients some sort of advice. With that being said, management consulting is really an umbrella term, and within it, you have many different types of consulting. So you have strategy consulting, IT consulting, implementation consulting, etc., etc. So if you think about a business, right, they go through different stages of decision making. So first they need to set like a strategy and then they need someone to implement it. And then they might have like different problems in different departments. They might have some IT problems they want to deal with. They might have some problems within the HR department, legal department, everything. Everything has some sort of consulting firm working on it. The consulting firm that I'm at right now focuses on strategy. So we do strategy consulting, which means the more bigger picture, longer term, more important business decisions, such as whether they want to expand into a new location, selling the same product, or whether they want to buy out another competitors. So that's the strategy consulting that I'm doing or will be doing very soon. As a consultant, you work in a project-based manner. So you work on one project with client A, and then after that, you work on another project with client B. And you also work in a very small team settings, a small team of consultants from your consulting firm, and then you as a team will go work together with your client's team. Now, this project can last from two weeks all the way up to a few months depending on the type of projects you're in and the type of consulting firms that you're in. So that is a very broad and brief account of what management consulting is. Now, why do I want to become a management consultant? There are four main reasons that I'll go through now. So first of all, diverse and interesting work. So you may remember that I was saying how consulting is one of the best career options for people who are ambitious, young, but don't really know what they want to do. Well, as I mentioned, consulting works in a project-based manner where you go through very different industries and sectors through your different projects. Now that gives you a big exposure into many different businesses in a relatively short amount of time. Now, for example, in my firm, a project can be two to four weeks long. That means maybe a project every month, now, that means that after working in my firm for just a year, I would have had very in-depth, specific knowledge about 12 businesses just by working in the firm for a year. Now, that's something that I think you cannot really get in other sort of early careers, but consulting definitely gives you that benefit. Now, not only are these work diverse, they're also really interesting. Through working with businesses, instead of studying the businesses as an outsider, you also get to know how businesses run behind the scene a lot better. And I think that just gives you a much better idea of how the world is run, how these big corporations are running the world. And that gives you more ideas of what you want to go into, what you want to do later in your life. Especially in strategy consulting, right? You are very likely working on very big decisions that the businesses are thinking about. So you're thinking about whether they want to spend millions buying another company, whether they want to expand into China, whether they want to like introduce this new kind of product that they've never done before. These are all very big decisions that affect millions of people, million billions of dollars as well. Now, second of all, is a very strong early responsibility. Once you get in there, they expect you to dive right into it. They expect you to be thrown into the water and learn how to swim on the job. You will be thrown into projects with industries you know nothing about and be expected to talk like an expert within a few weeks. You'll be expected to do presentations to very senior people, maybe even the C-suite people in Fortune 500 or for C100 firms. Now this can be extremely difficult initially, but I do think that 
this sort of early job responsibility is unparalleled in any other career that you can find out there. And I believe that this very steep learning curve can help me accelerate my professional growth, which is again another reason I really want to go into consulting. Thirdly is the network. Now this isn't really like a main main reason why I want to go into consulting, but more sort of like a secondary reason. Consulting is very competitive, so most people that you will be working with is very talented, very smart. And also, as I mentioned, most people that go into consulting, or at least a big portion of it, don't really know exactly what they want to do in life yet, but they're very ambitious. That means that after working for a few years in consulting, or maybe even after you leave consulting, you have built a big network of people that you've worked with that have now began to make a name for themselves in many different industries, many different fields. Just to name a few examples on the top of my head, the current Google CEO used to be a consultant. John Legend, like the singer John Legend, used to be a consultant as well. So you can see the paths after consulting are usually very diverse. And I believe that sort of network is very precious for me down the line. Except from the network that you built within the firm, the clients that you work with are another type of network that will be very helpful. One of the most common way how people leave consulting is that they work with the client on a certain projects, the client really liked them, and then they basically post them to join them in their firm. Having a very professional network outside of your firm in very big, different corporations in different industries is again very helpful for anyone in their professional lives. So this is the third reason why I want to go into consulting. It's because of the network. And the final and fourth reason is the extra opportunities that consulting gives. Now consulting gives you a very rigorous and useful early career training in terms of your skill sets. You will be doing a lot of Excel and PowerPoints. You will have that sort of technical skills right there. And you also have the people skills, you know, how you handle clients, how you work in a team, how you handle pressure in a very short amount of time. Now, these skill sets are all very useful for different careers down the line. Consulting is known for a very high churn rate. So a lot of people usually leave after three to five years working in consulting. Some people almost see it as like an extra university degree. So they see it as like a few years where you train your skill set and then you go off and do other stuff. So those are the reasons why I chose to become a management consultant. But for now, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope it gives you some idea on why you might want to get into consulting or why not. And um, with that being said, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.